guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today, I'm gonna to share with you some toddler breakfast ideas, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so you already know that I love to share lots of fun lunch ideas, but I've had a lot of requests to show what I feed my toddler for breakfast, so that's what I'm sharing today. And you guys might be surprised, because the last time I made a video about what my toddler eats, that week, he was a really good eater. But this week, things went really different. And that's just how it goes sometimes. So let's get started. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Monday. Today, I started by making some protein pancakes. And for Griffin, I also put some peanut butter on his. And then I cut it in half. So it was kind of like a pancake peanut butter sandwich. And to go along with this, I also heated up some turkey sausage. And I went ahead and cut it into small pieces for him. Now to go along with this today, I'm also giving him this yogurt pouch. This is actually banana and pumpkin flavored. And he usually only eats half of this at one time. So let's see how he likes it. Now as you can tell, he looks pretty excited about breakfast this morning. And I have to tell you, I'm trying this new plate from Walmart. It's supposed to have a suction on the bottom, but it's pretty awful. I cannot recommend it at all. So first off, he's reaching for the yogurt. That's definitely his favorite part, but he couldn't get it open. So as you can see here, he's going to sign please. He's saying, please help. And so Lily, she's being so sweet. She came over and helped him to open it. Oh, that's so sweet. So he's definitely a big fan of the yogurt, but what I learned here is to not leave him with the lid because for some reason he got very interested in the lid and then he wasn't interested in eating anymore. He just wanted to play with the lid the whole time. Next, I tried to get him to eat some of his pancake and his sausage. As you can tell, he wasn't that interested, which is strange because he's normally a big fan of pancakes and he loves peanut butter. I think the problem here is that he ended up getting peanut butter on his fingers, which he's not a big fan of, and so he didn't really want to eat anymore. Thankfully, Lily helped him with a napkin to wipe some of the peanut butter off. And then Griffin also helped to wipe his own face. And just like that, he is done. He definitely does not want to eat anymore. Not the best today. Hi guys, and welcome to Tuesday. Today I'm starting by giving Griffin some strawberry yogurt O's. These are basically like Cheerios, but they also have some freeze-dried strawberry chunks in there as well. To go along with this, I'm also giving him some more turkey sausage just like yesterday, and I've cut it up really small. To go along with this, I'm giving him some grapes. Hopefully he'll do better today. So right off the bat, he's going for his sausage, but he's having some trouble with his fork. Right now, he's still in the process of learning how to use it, and it's definitely frustrating him today. So then he just decides to use his fingers. He's like, yeah, I can do this, no problem. One of the problems I always have with Griffin is that he likes to shove a lot of food in his mouth at one time. I really need him to slow down. This was one of the mornings where he definitely wanted to play with his food more than eat it. So at this point, he decided to give the fork one more try, and it looked like it was going really well until he tried to eat too many pieces all at once. And then he spit them out. In total, I think he ate three pieces of sausage, two pieces of cereal, and zero grapes. And then he was done. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Wednesday. For today's breakfast, I started by making Griffin an omelet in the microwave. So I added one egg, a splash of milk, a little bit of salt, a dash of pepper, and I whisked it up. Next, I tore in just a few pieces of spinach, and I'm adding all of this to a microwave-safe bowl, by the way, and then I topped that with lots of cheese. Then I stuck this in the microwave for about 60 seconds. 
To go along with this, I'm also giving Griffin one piece of bread. This is whole wheat bread, and I added a little bit of peanut butter on there as well. And to make it easier for him to eat, I cut it up into small pieces. While the eggs are cooling down, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some cantaloupe for the fruit today. And I'm going to cut these into small pieces. Griffin's never had cantaloupe before, so we'll see how it goes. Now that the eggs have cooled down enough, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up. And right now I'm just gonna give Griffin half of this and save the other half for it later. And here we go, let's see how he does today. Now right off the bat, I definitely have to comment on his bed head today. He's got a serious case of messy morning hair. Interestingly enough, this boy has never had a haircut. I can't decide whether we should let it grow or we should cut it. But as soon as we cut it, he's not gonna look like a baby anymore. He'll look like a little boy. And I'm not ready for that yet. So right off the bat, he reached for the cantaloupe and it slipped right out of his fingers. And then he takes a look at it because it's new for him and he's not quite sure about it. Apparently he's not sure if he likes it. And then he decides to grab his spoon and his fork at the same time, but he's not quite sure what to do with those either. Next, he's going to try the eggs. Usually he does really well with eggs, so he gets eggs a lot but he does like to shove everything in his mouth all at once, which is really, really bad. I wish he would stop doing that. It never turns out well. At this point, Lily decided to help him clean up his face a little bit, but he did not like that at all. He wasn't interested in that. On this day, he did not finish all of his breakfast, but he did eat more than the day before. So I'd say overall, he did pretty well. Good morning, guys, and happy Thursday. Today, I started by chopping up some mango. You can see it right there in the middle. It's really small. And then I cubed up some cheese. This is Colby Jack cheese. To go along with this, I'm also serving half of a whole grain English muffin. And I'm not gonna toast it because I don't think he's gonna like it if I toast it. So I'm gonna leave it nice and soft, but add some Kerrygold butter. And then I decided I would go ahead and just give him half at first, and then if he liked it, I would definitely give him the other half. Now, not surprising to me, the first thing that he went for was the cheese. He's a huge fan of cheese, followed by the English muffin, which he liked, but he didn't really like getting butter on his fingers. I've been forgetting to show you, but usually with breakfast, he just drinks water. You can tell he was really hungry on this day because he ate everything, which rarely happens. Happy Friday. So today for breakfast, I'm starting off with eggs again. Definitely one of his favorites and easy to make. So I'm just adding one egg, a splash of milk, a little bit of ranch powder, and some salt. The ranch powder has garlic and onion powder in there as well. It makes for a really yummy omelet. Then I'm going to spread some strawberry cream cheese on top of one piece of cinnamon bread. I'm just gonna start off by giving him a quarter of the bread for now just to make sure he likes it. And then he can always have more later. When the eggs come out of the microwave, I'm just gonna go ahead and put one slice of this Tillamook cheddar cheese on top and it can melt and make a yummy omelet. I'm also gonna add some sliced bananas to this and then he can dig in. He looks like he's ready to eat. The first thing he went for were the eggs and I told him they were still hot and he needed to blow on them. So you can see he's blowing on his eggs, cooling them down. Next, he went for another bite of eggs and accidentally dropped the eggs onto the toast, which got stuck on his fork, and that made him super frustrated. So I tried to convince him to try his toast. I really think he would have liked it had he tried it, but he absolutely refused. And at this point, he just started being naughty. And 
and he really didn't eat any more after this. So my husband tried to feed him instead and that didn't turn out well either. Sometimes it just goes like this. Okay friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Now if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Also, if you'd like to see more videos from me, you can click on the link up here or down there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.